you guys, this one is going to be huge. All right, so you got to you got to come move on over so you can see it. But I don't know, can can you even see the name of who this is from? This is mainly from my anime Marvel original art. <sighs> my god. So I don't typically do unboxings, but I figured this is such an epic piece that let me come open it with you guys. So I am say probably a fairly new uh, Chrissy Zulo fan. For me, she actually came on my radar like the very beginning of 2022. Um, should I do some ASMR opening of original art? All right, so seriously, um, let's get this out of the package. So Chrissy ended up finding her early 2022, and if you if you guys are getting to know me, I'm a very modern art collector. Um, I love collecting women of color, uh, people of color, women in general, just really trying to showcase a lot of that. Should I do some of these pops? Oh, this actually won't pop. Anyway, so with Chrissy, a lot of her stuff that really captured my eye was a lot of her fun illustrations, drawings, just capturings of the characters, things that really made me smile and was a lot of fun when I got to see a lot of her artwork. So there was this piece that came on the market probably around 18 months ago, I would say. And, you know, it was a little bit out of the price range that I really wanted to spend for an original artwork. I've been building my collection, and again, modern, chibi, fun, women, women of color, people of color, like that's really what I've kind of drawn myself to. So I couldn't dive in on the original price of this, but over the past few weeks, it looks like Chrissy has gotten her artwork back to where she can distribute it directly herself. And had a sale on her site, so I had to take advantage of that. And I really wanted this kind of as a celebration to myself for everything that I've had to do this past year. And I did not want to miss out on this piece either. So I figured, why not? Why not come and open it up with you guys? We got one more, one more little tab here. And I'm going to leave a little bit of the background about Chrissy and all of the research about her career and everything to sketch God. Um, but before we open it, should I do a little bit more ASMR original art opening? All right. Let me move these scissors. Get this out of the way. I always hate. I hate. Okay. I can kind of see that, but I hate opening OA comics with this clear packing tape which I'm, I'm really glad to see the regular packing tape this clear one if i can tell you some horror stories that i've had at comic cons with that so oh very cute chrissy she left such a cute little note as you open it all right so this is what it looks like as you open it she gives you a little note on how to take care of the piece very very cute and if you guys have already seen it this is the moon girl and a miles morales cover with a devil dinosaur so hold on let me take off the first part with this note here all right give me one second all right, so here we go. This is a signed copy of the book from her. And this is just the virgin. So very, very cool. Here you get a few of her little, I don't know what that is, a sticker or not, or a coaster. Um, but business cards from her promoting her, her new site, which is Shop Chrissy. You can see her original artwork, prints, everything that she has on there. And here is the full cover. I'll bring it a little bit closer for everybody. So this is the original artwork for the Moon Girl number one. It also features Miles Morales and, of course, Devil Dinosaur. So this is an 11 by 14. 
And again, you can see all of the colors. It, it literally looks exactly like the, the Virgin itself, just, you know, larger, the original artwork. You can, you can see the lines and all of the details. And why this is such a epic cover for me, it's just, I mean, one, look at it. This is just pure fun splashed on a page here. Okay, and a quick little pop in. There were a few variations of this cover done by a few different artists that I did try to get the OA to as well, but I wasn't as lucky to be able to get them as I was with the Chrissy. So I just wanted you guys to be able to see the different variations of Miles Morales and Moon Girl number one that was available. And it was even more so a big deal that I needed to support this because Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, the animated series, got nominated for eight Emmys, which has been the most nominations this year for any animated series. So that's really a big deal. So I wanted to make sure I got this cover for this. And if you guys don't know, I do have a few pages from the actual book, which obviously helped stem. Hey, I need to get the cover for this. Don't judge me that I don't have everything framed yet, but this is one of the splash pages from the book. This is page 16, where you can see Miles and Moon Girl going off to action here. I also wanted to get a page here of Miles and Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur all in action as well. This is page 27. They're working to take down their villain. Okay, and then lastly is this piece, which you always see behind me. It's the double splash page of Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur. I believe this is page one and two, but it's framed right now, so I can't actually see it. But when I was picking out these pages of this book, I really wanted to get some high action, really quality shots of what was going on throughout it so i do have three pages from the book and yeah i needed to make sure to add on the cover so yeah that's really what i wanted to show you guys today i kind of can't even really believe that it is here um yeah but it's here i am going to get it framed so stay tuned i'll show you guys how i end up getting it framed but if you have any questions let me know